Hello, I'm Sam from Sound on Sound magazine. I'm here at the AES show in New York uh, with Mark Fuchsman. Now, Mark's well known for the Samar ribbon microphones, but he's actually launching a new brand of uh, a new brand of microphones, which will be capacitor microphones at this show. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah, uh, oh, we have uh, we decided our condenser uh, series uh, uh, to launch under a new name, which called Omni 8 Audio. Uh, so we will have some more for ribbons and Omni 8 Audio for uh, condensers. And your belief, I think I'm right in saying, is that if you want a figure eight microphone, you should use a ribbon. If you want an Omni microphone, you should use a small diaphragm condenser. So the only real proper role for a large diaphragm condenser microphone is for a cardioid microphone. Is that right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, Actually, there is very good uh, reason and the way we called Omni 8. Mathematically, cardioid pattern is the uh, sum of uh, Omni and 8. So th th uh, here we go, we get uh, uh, two native patterns which give us uh, uh, cardioid. So your first two products are in fact two cardioid large diaphragm microphones. Yes. But they're quite different. And tell us a little bit more about that. Well, uh, the very first thing is the, as we know, the heart of any uh, microphone is a capsule. And uh, we made lots of research and we built from and designed and developed and built uh, from uh, ground up uh, a totally new uh, capsule and I spent about two years for voicing uh, uh, and developing uh, uh, this capsule it's nothing uh, on the, uh, nothing on the market exists like that the very um, since we are coming from the ribbon sound, and the ribbon sound is in my ears, uh, my main idea was to make very smooth response like, without a uh, usual bump on the top end, and also uh, a very extended bottom end. So, so it's very linear, very smooth, no hype anywhere. It's not uh, mid-range forward. It doesn't have uh, uh, any peaks on top. So if you use, for example, uh, if you use it, for example, uh, for voice, uh, you will not get usual sibilance problems and it's just a very neutral response. And it's quite unusual for a large diaphragm condenser microphone in that it's a single diaphragm microphone. Yes. And what are the, di what are the differences in terms of the sound, the way that behaves? Uh, well, it's uh, just, uh, uh, there, there is a very good, sure paper on the technical difference uh, between single diaphragm and double diaphragm. But uh, uh, um, our, the main reason uh, we, st we did single diaphragm, it's much easier to optimize the cardioid pattern and uh, um, also uh, uh, versa uh, uh, frequency response. So once you put uh, two diaphragms on uh, uh, front to back, uh, we start getting uh, lots of problems and uh, uh, one of them uh, is that at the low end, it turns into Omni. And uh, so it's a, a, a very interesting effect, uh, gives a very interesting effect. So we know that cardioid pattern has proximity effect. Omni does not have. So whenever you get a little bit closer, so uh, there is a boost of the bottom and when it turns into Omni, we have uh, a sudden drop. 
and that's uh, the reason uh, we have those bumps and peaks on the low end. So with uh, uh, doing it uh, single diaphragm, uh, we uh, extend uh, uh, the bottom end. Uh, uh, it, it sounds at least uh, an octave or two lower, and also it is very smooth. There is no uh, uh, this kind of forwardness of low mids. Uh, so it's uh, much easier to deal with uh, electronically or uh, I I if it's a problem uh, 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 with close miking. Fantastic. And the second microphone that you're showing at this show is, is a different. This is based on the uh, well-known AKG CK12 capsule design, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, but uh, also we... Uh, use it as a single uh, diaphragm. Uh, so we have uh, uh, modified uh, this capsule and uh, it works also uh, as a single. Fantastic. So what's, when can we expect these microphones to be available? Oh, uh, very soon. We, uh, uh, in fact, uh, we thought that uh, uh, this one, TF08, uh, 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 we start the production right after AES, so probably it should be available already in a couple months or so. Yeah. Cool. And what sort of price point are we looking at? Uh, at this point, we uh, we are thinking 9.99, but we will know we will determine the final uh, price after we start production because it's hard to know all the. Obstacles. <laughs> sure, that's for the OA, right? And the other one will be uh, more. Uh, the other one, uh, we are thinking 599. Fantastic. Well, we look, can't wait to try them out. Thanks, Mark. Okay, thank you. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Likewise. Thank you.